KDKA Radio. This is Houston. Please call the International Space Station for a voice check. Region 5 School, this is Houston. Please call the International Space Station for a voice check. Station, this is Sheila Holm here with the Girl Scouts of River Bluffs Council. How do you hear me? Discovery ISS, this is White House Com. How do you hear me? Station, this is Tarek Malik with Space.com. How do you hear me? This is Discovery and ISS. We hear you loud and clear. Hey, this is Mike aboard the International Space Station. I hear you loud and clear. And Southern Illinois Girl Scouts at River Bluff Council. The station has you loud and clear. Hello, everybody. And not only do we hear you loud and clear, but we're happy to hear you. Welcome aboard. Ever wonder how we get to see and hear astronauts in space on NASA TV? Barb, we have been standing by waiting for your signal from space for 21 years. A sophisticated system of standard and high-definition cameras and microphones can easily capture much of what happens 220 miles above the Earth on the International Space Station. But getting that down to us takes a little doing. While in orbit, both the ISS and Space Shuttle circle the Earth about once every 90 minutes. In order to communicate from space to ground, there must be a direct line of sight. This means that, for example, the shuttle is over India, it'll have to relay or bounce the signal to the other side of the Earth. Uh, we'd like to be among the first to welcome you to Houston and welcome you to Johnson Space Center and now uh, for Pavel, Tomas and I to welcome you on board the International Space Station. Thanks a lot. Once again, it's a, it's a privilege. That's done by the spacecraft transmitting its live or recorded audio and video to one in a network of communications satellites in geosynchronous orbit. This tracking and data relay satellite system, commonly known as TDRS, then sends the signal down to one of its three ground stations in White Sands, New Mexico, and on Guam. TDRS is the communications link for the shuttle. It is the primary source for uh, both voice and video, relaying that information back on the nightly news. When you see the astronauts in space, uh, that's all coming and being relayed through TDRS. From there, the signal gets sent via landlines to Mission Control in Houston. This is where the astronauts' images and words begin the second half of their journey to your home TV. It's a pleasure to be, uh, be with you today on the International Space Station. As I uh, approached the belly of the orbiter, I was just all eyes. It was incredible. In Building 8 at the Johnson Space Center, technicians digitally feed the signal to NASA Television's Master Control at NASA headquarters in Washington, D.C. There, the audio and video is programmed onto NASA television. It's then fed to NASA's satellite transmission facility at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, where it's uplinked to the AMC-6 satellite's number 17C transponder. That's where your cable or satellite provider can acquire the NASA TV signal and get it to your home. It's a long way to go, from 220 miles up and down, then up and down again to bring you the best of NASA from space, all in the space of a few seconds. Thanks and wishing you all the best from aboard the International Space Station. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you.